Barely a few days after Pastor Ezekiel Odero of New Life Prayer Center Church appeared before the Senate Ad Hoc Committee on Proliferation of Religious Sects, the 11 member team landed in Mabueni today. Wamekuja hapa, hapa sio shakahola. Hapa inaitwa Mabueni kwa Pastor Ezekiel. Wameonyeshwa shakahola kwa Pastor Mackenzie ni asilimia kilomita 200 kutoka hapa. Kwa hivyo hakuna uhusiano wowote uliopo kati ya Pastor Ezekiel na Pastor Mackenzie. Ule uhusiano uliokuwa ni uhusiano ya kwamba Pastor Ezekiel alijaribu kununua televisheni ya Mackenzie akamlipa deposit ya 500,000 ile deal ikapotea. Ika, ika, ika Led by the committee chairperson Danson Mgatana, the team was on a fact finding mission tour at the church after it was linked to the infamous Shekahola massacre masterminded by Pastor Paul Mackenzie of Good News International Church. The committee says there's no shred of evidence to prove that there were graves at the church compound, contrary to allegations that the church had a mortuary and graves. Instead, the committee says the alleged grave site was a construction area, while what was rumored to be a mortuary was a power distribution center. Tumeona hapa, hata restaurant, kwa hivyo mambo yale wengine ulikuwa tuambia watu, wa waombe paka wafe hayapo hapa unaona lakini sisi tunaandika vile tunaona yeye si mshukiwa katika hii issue kamati yetu tunachukua ushahidi na yeyote ambaye ametajwa wanakuwa persons of interest lakini uh, sisi sio koti tunaandika ripoti the embattled cleric who had also invited the committee last week in Nairobi loaded the move by the senators to visit the church premises before compiling a final report. Kwa hivyo yote ambayo wameangalia na wamechunguza watayaweka wazi kwa inchi nzima, kwa raia nzima, kwa raia wote kila mmoja akaweze kujua ukweli. Senator Mungatana also revealed that the committee will meet the DCI boss in Nairobi and has at the same time summoned Pastor Mackenzie, currently behind bars, to appear before it. The committee also met Kilifi County security team to make inquiries on the infamous Shakahola massacre. Timothy Simwake, 24TV.